Hello, hello, welcome back. This is Redmain Plays Games. I am Redmain, that's me. And today I wanted to show you how to make your first little projector. So right from the get-go, once you have your little ship set up and you could even upgrade to a bigger refinery and assembler if you wanted to, but, but you don't even have to. The very next thing I like to do is set up automation. And so what I wanted to go over with you today is just how to do that. A uh, couple of blocks that you need. Um, we need a piston. Let's make sure that's unlocked. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. We need the projector. A rotor. doesn't have to be the advanced rotor, but you can if you want to try to pass things through it. Uh, for our purposes, we don't need that. And some floor blocks. So, what I'm going to do here is... Place a few blocks down. What I like to do is one block high, we start to build our projector um, with the piston first. We're going to align it so that the control panel for it is up at the top because I like to access that easily. Once the piston is out, I like to extend it all the way so we go into the control panel should see piston and reverse it and so once it's fully extended we want to go two blocks you know maybe actually even three blocks away from that and we're going to build right up to that I'm sorry it's four blocks we need a welder on the piston end which is why it needs to be four forgot about that Then we'll go ahead and we will reverse the piston again. So now that we know how far out it is fully extended, we can put our rotor down. Like so. Now we're we don't want the head, so we need to grind that off. Um, we're gonna get rid of the rotor head, and we're going to enter any control panel on our grid and go to our rotor. And we're going to add a small head here, as well as do a rotor lock. That just keeps this thing from swiveling and moving when we don't really want it to. So we'll go ahead and weld that up. And then we're ready for our projector block. Which, since we added a small head, it will be a small grid projector. If we wanted to do a large grid one, we would have kept the large rotor head. And placing the projector is tricky. It has to be the side that has the four uh, north, south, east, and west little uh, pads on it. Any other side, and it won't work properly. So you want you want the side with the cross facing forward. And 
now you can tell that it's ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our projector block and put up one of our blueprints. And so now if we look out here, we can see our projected block. And you'll notice that one of the blocks is highlighted, meaning we could actually start welding. But as you can see, the ship is sideways. So if it did actually start right now, um, A, it would be missing whatever block is here in the middle. And B, it would be sideways and it would just fall right to the ground. So we're going to come up on top of the piston, looking at the ship, and try to access our projector again. Now you can kind of sort of still see the hologram in the background for our projection. We are going to play with these settings until we get it to be just how we want. And we'll start first with trying to change the direction of the ship. looks better okay so now that is set and I know just based on my design that it needs to come forward one block so we'll try to bring it forward uh, so that should be fine and now we'll exit and take a look and we'll see that yes in fact one block is ready and then once it builds that block we could build the rest of them However, on this ship design, I know that that's a merge block, and once I build it, it's probably going to fall right out. So we'll push it forward one more block and then add a merge block to the front of the projector. The projector should always have at least one block in front of it, and that helps uh, make sure that whatever you're building, you can weld down that block, and, or grind down the block, and your ship will be free floating. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the projector. Vertical offset by two. And I need a small merge block. Instead of using an armor block, I'm going to use my merge block. This way I can actually un merge it and keep building more and more of these same ships. And since I know that the piston is going to go out almost all the way, I'm going to go ahead and leave that setting. I might change it to like 9.8. I don't need it to go the full 10 meters. And I'm going to slow it down because the, the thing that makes the welder work so perfectly is the speed in which the piston is coming back away from the start of the projection. So we want it to have enough time to weld up all of the blocks that it needs to, and the way we do that is changing the time. So we're going to change the time to minus point zero zero two five, and that's a really slow time, but we're in the beginning of the game and we don't exactly have a ton of resources to start with anyway. So we'll move it to 9.6, reverse, let's see how slowly that moves. So slow. Okay, so perhaps that's not moving at all. Maybe I need to change that number. Point zero one five. We'll try that. All right, that's a little better. You can see it's coming out very slow still, but it is actually visib visibly moving. The welder is off. If it was on, right where these two little black lines are would be lighting up. And then if we were to turn this on, right now we don't have any of the components that it's going to need to weld all this stuff. So we need to start looking at what these blocks are going to be and adding these components to be made. Mm -hmm. But 
that's the general idea of the projector and then once it gets out all the way we will turn it on and have it welding some components here so I will be back as soon as that's finished okay we're back and as you can see the piston is fully extended now and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the welder and you will see it start to make the blocks you can see that the welders touching our beginning block so the distance was perfect and to pretty this up you can add a control tower and uh, map the functions to different buttons but for the very basic beginning welder this is what you need and then as long as you have the resources and a bunch of items made this you just have to turn on the welder and then the piston and then as that backs up it should start to build the blocks you can see now that the welder is on and it's pulling away from the merge block and I will speed up this video so you don't have to sit through the whole entire thing. You can, however, add more welders than just the one for larger ships and design it in a much more beautifying way than what I have here. This is just my simple, easy to do start. Enjoy! And as you can see, it just finished filling up the last little bit. And we have ourselves a nice, complete ship all ready to go. We will turn off the welder so it doesn't bite us. Hop in our ship. And the only thing we need to add here is the merge block. and we will use that for toggle on off off and now we can move right out and just like that we have fully functioning ship well I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial and um I'd love to see some of what you guys are building now that you're start starting to get a hang of the game. Send me some pictures, hop in my Discord, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Thank you very much. Bye.